and my young colleagues who are aspiring for completing their MBBS course and going to their, go to their postgraduate course. As all of you are aware, the NMC has put on a public notice on 28th December asking for clarification. That itself is a great move because from the NMC, they are asking our opinion, the public opinion regarding any corrections or any modifications required. So this is the first move by the government of India. So we should appreciate that they are asking our opinion. Next is, I appreciate the Indian Medical Association student being who have taken up this topic to discuss threadbare, to find the problems and the solutions for those problems. So I thank the organizers for inviting me for this discussion. Coming to the topic, today's topic, see, first thing I'd like to take is about the, on the page number eight of the public notice, they have given different uh, hours for various subjects like medicine and allied specialties. They have given 120 hours, 120 questions. And for surgery, it is 120 items. OG, 120 items. Pediatric, 60 items. For ENT, they are given 60. Ophthalmology, 60. But unfortunately, what is health? Health is not a mere absence of disease, but a sense of well-being, physical well-being, mental well-being, social well-being, and spiritual well-being. Unfortunately, we have not given importance to mental well-being itself. And as all of you are aware, uh, stress component that to post-COVID, entire world, it has increased. And number of anxiety and depressed cases has increased. And in India, we are usually a tense population. There is a, people are tense and there is number of anxiety, depression, and other diseases. So right from beginning, importance is not given to mental treatment or psychological treatment. So in this subjects, various subjects, I would have been happy if they had given more importance to psychiatry because every individual has stress. Every individual goes through, see the disease pattern, see BP or diabetes, 10-15% only. Any disease, it is only 10-15% occurrence. Even obesity, 30% only. But stress and anxiety, they contribute more than 30%. Every individual goes through stress in various parts of his life. So emotional importance is not given in the curriculum. Other thing is palliative care medicine. A new concept has come, palliative care medicine, which has to be integrated with all curative treatment, any long-standing diseases like diabetes, hypertension, cancer, joint pains, obesity. There should be a palliative care treatment, which has to run simultaneously with a therapeutic treatment. And this palliative care treatment goes beyond after the death also. It goes to grief counseling. So this is a new specialty is palliative care medicine where India is lagging way behind compared to other specialties. So importance is not given. This occurs, this problem is seen in the page number eight. Then second point, what I want to stress is about the type of questions. They are given problem solving, analytical 65%, comprehensive type 25%, recall type up to 10%. And all our teachers and students are used to recall type one. And as Professor Gita Lakshmi has rightly pointed out, we have to put the bullock before the cart. So all the teachers throughout the country has to be trained in how to set up a multiple choice question for the entire syllabus. The two, they have to integrate between basic sciences and clinical sciences. So this teachers has to be trained. See, when UGC started a program way back in 1970s, they had a faculty improvement program for arts and science colleges. They had a faculty improvement program and the teachers were sent for higher training. Even in schools, uh, teachers handling sixth, seventh, eighth standard, after studying BA or BSc, they undergo a two year educational training and they get the BA certificate. Then only they become qualified teachers. Teaching is a separate profession. Unfortunately, in medical curriculum, we, post, we do our post graduation. Next day, we become PG teachers. The one year junior, it becomes a student to us and we become PG teachers. So we are not trained in teachers and nowadays children are very intelligent. So for teaching them, our teachers has to be trained and the teachers has to be trained in problem solving, analytical skills, comprehensive type. All the teachers throughout the country about the 650 medical college, the teacher training has to be completed. Then only this program can be implemented in the colleges. And so more so our colleges, India is a diverse country with a lot of major cities where people are more used to these type of exercises. 
there are muscle centers where again teaching skills will be less so the entire teaching skill has to be enhanced initially this is seen in page 7 of the document coming to the third thing is mcqs they ask about all the questions are multiple choice questions i am not going to the details because already doctors don't have the habit of writing case sheets they don't write they put signatures when once mcqs comes the subjective writing for answers will go up and they cannot write so all the answers when become objective it they just tick and they are not mentioned whether there is negative marks see once it is mcq you should have some negative marks otherwise simply ticking the paper everybody can pass or get some marks so mcqs they didn't mention about any negative marks and they are insisting on 50% pass mark those days when we were students when professor geeta lakshmi me and all were students 80 to 90% of the mark has to be obtained to get into a medical college 90% is required to get into medical college the pass percentage was 50% professor sambath kumar me so agree you get him in, input is 90% output passing is 50% now it is totally reversed input i don't know how much of you know what is the input in neat scores are very low marks input or they can get mbbs scores but they are asking 50% pass in all the six papers so that will be tough for the students we have to filter at the entry point if you don't filter at the entry point if you admit students with less marks with mbbs scores they can't come out outside with 50 marks that seems uh, in, in incomparable and the next point what i want to increase is uh, next uh, exam step 1 that marks will be counted only for 3 years so in 3 years if he is not able to get a pg seat he has to again appear for next step 1 which can be avoided because one time he has got a mark that mark can be utilized whenever he wants if he wants to improve let him go for improvement that is permissible here but again improvement also on the page 6 of the document they are given the improvement average will be taken i don't know why they take the average once a person is allowed to take an improvement the highest score should be taken for considering it they should not take an average again regarding one question uh, somebody ragunandan was asking i suppose to professor geeta lakshmi what happens to the present students who are undergoing through this curriculum and suddenly you put a uh, next exam comes in on the page 3 itself of the document they have given the use of scores and normalization of different examination and the next exam shall be determined by the agency so they will appropriate time they will have normalization so if you get neat marks this much this is equal to this mark in the next exam that government will come out with a proposal they have mentioned the page 3 but regarding the implementation yes as the previous speakers told whether it is 23 23 will not be possible because already we are in 23 so the government has to give enough notice for the teachers for the students for the universities to conduct so in my opinion a government will not be in such a haste to conduct in 23 maybe in 24 but that also be required training and when you and regarding atcom that attitude ethics and communication has been introduced in the mbbs curriculum by the nmc from 2019 even palliative care has been introduced from 2019 but our teachers who teach this subject of attitude ethics and communication they are not trained first the teachers has to be trained what the without trait if you don't if you if you don't learn and you train that is quackery so the teachers has to be trained in attitude as teachers has to be trained in ethics and teachers has to be trained in communication i i also agree professor sampath kumar's version on uh, the medical legal cases doctors awareness about medical legal cases and the cause of death they have to certify death certificate has to be signed by doctors so that they should have knowledge regarding rape yes expresses apprehension regarding wound certificate these are all vital areas as professor sampat kumar told about wound certificate rape cause of death the medical legal cases the students should be exposed to a legal medicine in a more liberal manner this 10% for all the basic sciences of six subjects will not be sufficient seven subjects will not be adequate and community medicine also they have put 10% only and we have to go prevention is better than cure we see always in tamil also we say varumun kaapom sir varumun kaapom sir the community medicine department only 10% is given importance regarding vaccination and those things diet nutrition exercise 
because being uh, non communicable diseases which can be prevented by lifestyle changes so when such is now we are going through a heavy load of non communicable diseases where lifestyle lifestyle changes has to be done so there your 10% is only community medicine being applied which is not adequate so similarly the doctors in cities and the medical colleges in cities they can fare easily but in rural setup it will be very difficult both for the student as well as for the teachers anyway with these few points i like to thank the organizers for inviting me this these are my humble suggestions thank you very much i am ready to answer your questions from the students or from the speakers who have organized thank you thank you sir uh, just one doubt from my side since yes, uh, in the next guidelines they have given we are they have mentioned that you know for the next two specifically it will be conducted by university and it will be used a case based stimulators etc will be used for accessing the skills it will it be like a uni again uniformity will be a questionable first thing no, that is, Second, you can't bring it you can't bring uniformity hmm. can't be brought that is not feasible doctor government yes. can't do anything it can yeah. go up to certain level only yes sir that is the first thing and second thing is like uh, whether every college will be like having uh, so much facility for a stimulator based uh, uh, based accessing the student skill yes 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 that's because the nmc has given a guidelines for a skill lab to be instituted in all colleges skill labs so skill lab training has become a must so similar training will be there but what i understand from your clinical examination your question is according to the guidelines the public notice says the state university will conduct the exam we don't know whether the deemed university will be permitted to conduct the exam or the state university suppose in tamil nadu there is a number of 6 7 deemed universities are there they conduct their own exams for mbbs but whether we don't know whether the mgr medical university of the state medical university dr tamil nadu mgr university will conduct or the deemed university will conduct they are not given clarification but whoever conducts because throughout india 650 medical colleges the clinical exam cannot be conducted on a uniform basis mm. they are giving much importance to the step 1 only steps 2 as previous speakers also told it will become a routine it can be given much importance importance given only to step 1 where mcqs are asked for different subjects thank you sir thank you sir if there are any other questions